Now, even for a man who's used to throwing himself into thin air, this was a particularly adrenaline-packed weekend. Swiss skydiver and pilot Mark Hauser was uh, taken up 10,000 meters in a hot air balloon and literally threw himself into the jet stream over the skies of Australia on Saturday. But it wasn't just for the thrill or to break a record. This is a serious mission and could help highlight untapped energy in the jet stream and other high altitude wind sources. Well, I'm pleased to say that Mark joins us now all in uh, one piece. Now, Mark, first off, uh, tell us, how did that, uh, that jump on, on Saturday go? We had some stress um, up there because suddenly all the oxygen was leaking and at the same time the three burners they went down so we didn't have any fire in the hot air balloon okay sounds like a really stressful uh, episode there but you are fine yeah. as we can see now first off tell us just mm. uh, you know describe uh, to us exactly what you're trying to achieve first of all by by sort of doing this sort of thing by throwing yourself into the jet stream yeah, the goal was there, were, there has never been a human being inside the jet stream and flying in the stream. So that was the first goal, to fly inside the jet stream and um, all the winds up from 100 kilometers upwards are considered jet stream. And we had jet stream conditions, we were flying in the hot air balloon with 140 kilometers per hour over the ground. And now imagine yourself um, standing out of the basket um, already drifting with higher speeds uh, than highway speed and then you bail out and you exit this uh, balloon basket um, and you're at 7,600 meters around Everest uh, heights minus 40 degrees and you fly forward um, without any wings wow. so that was a task and <laughs> yeah. sounds utterly terrifying but this is something you've done uh, several times before now, unfortunately, on Saturday, you weren't able to beat your previous uh, record. Uh, but this just gives a sense of, you know, as you say, 140 kilometers per hour. Uh, this is the speed of a Formula One car, and this is you falling at that speed. I mean, what does that do to your body? Yeah, you know, uh, when, I was, when I left the hot air balloon, I had this 140, and then I was accelerating forward without any wings, without any wingsuit, just with a normal jumpsuit. And I accelerated to a speed of 270 kilometers per hour, which is uh, 170 knots. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't break my own old world record, but at the time then, uh, I didn't care about any speed record at all because my friends were really in trouble up there. I just left like a chicken and I had my safe landing with my, my super oxygen system, but I didn't right. know um, if they, they made it. All so right. Now, really now Mark, interesting, because you're doing this all for a mission. This is to try to uh, mm. get untapped energy in the jet stream. Tell us how does that work exactly? And, you know, what, what could this potentially do in terms of innovating energy sources for all of us? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly the point. So it was never a silly stunt. Uh, the idea was always to uh, highlight this phenomenon of this um, high altitude wind power of the jet stream because there's a huge amount of energy in it. And if we could harness just one or two percent of that, uh, then all our energy problems would be solved in an instant. And even in Switzerland, we have about three companies, uh, startups, they are investigating in this field. So the higher you go, the more energy you can take out. And so that is, that is the real mission and not breaking my own All record. All right, uh, thank record. you. Thank you for coming on and explaining to us uh, that. It was an amazing dive there, uh, Mark Hauser in Australia.